good morning to all beautiful children of God. <laughs> Glowing faces. I'm so glad to be here. Sister Nancy, Pastor Nancy, thank you for inviting me. It's an honor for me. If, it, if this goes, don't worry. I'm submissive to my husband. <laughs> Today, the, uh, as I, I looked at there, you know, is there a calendar or a clock? Uh, I, I wished it would have been a calendar. So, <laughs> so you can, we can go on, you know. <laughs> but let me go straight into what I want to speak. May the Holy Spirit talk to your hearts. Sit with a praying heart, not, not putting mark. Lord, Holy Spirit, speak to me. Speak to me. Let me hear your word. May the Holy Spirit help us to hear his sweet voice. The subject is called alongside wife, mother, helper. Three in one. I have acted more than that. <laughs> <laughs> Not acted, really did. <laughs> Greetings in the name of Jesus who said, Women, why are you weeping? Whom are you seeking? You know, even though we smile outside, inside we are weeping. I was a woman like that, a weeping woman. You know, uh, we got married. It was an arranged marriage. Don't think the other way. You know, uh, the first thing he told is, "I'm not good looking. I'm short." You can, you, you will can, you can understand how grieved I was inside. You know, but you know, God did a miracle. He did a surgery in his eyes and he touched his heart. <laughs> now, wherever he goes, he says, my wife is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> if anybody is crying inside, let me tell you from my own experience, God can change your situation, your family life. He can change your children's life. He can change your future. He is able. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. He used to smoke on 20 cigarettes. He was in the military. You know. But thank God, God touched him. He used to drink continuously. You know the story, so I don't want to explain. After his conversion, he was a zealous believer. I was just slow. I'll go very slowly. And I am firm. He is also very firm. Don't misunderstand me. I am firm in my decision. God gave me the grace. You know. So, uh, one day after his conversion, I got a letter. I was living in Kerala. Then he, I got a letter that I am resigning my job and uh, going to do gospel work. If you want to join me, you can join me. Yeah. Actually, my dream was to become just like Sister Sarah. She gave a buffet. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't sleep, anybody. If you sleep, don't snore, please. <laughs> really, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It's very good. Very informative. <laughs> and uh, the work we are doing, you know, almost the same. That's why, you know, the deep call of the deep. Yeah. yeah, then he wrote, you can join me, but I want to do the mission, but not the access to treat preacher or, you know, Pentecostal pastors. I want to have an orphanage, this and that things. That was all my dreams, you know. So I, my, I lost my father when I was very young, and my eldest brother, he was a trained teacher, good teacher, model teacher, you know, and he, he used to take care of me, you know. 
So, so I had a, I wanted to become just like my, he was my model, just to become just like my elder brother. That was my dream inside, but the other thing is also there. Uh, later you will know that. And he, whatever happens to me, I, before telling my mother, I'll go and tell my eldest brother because I have the total confidence. I loved him the most in the world. I respected and loved him, you know, and he also loved me, you know. <laughs> then after reading that, he said, Lily, you are silly. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have the thickness of your skin to, to do the gospel work. You are a very sensitive person. Yeah. Uh, small things also I used to cry. I was just like that, you know. And he told, let him do God's work and you can work as a teacher and send the money for him so that he can do the work, you know. I thought it's a very good idea. But I didn't answer. I'm very clever in that way, you know. I didn't answer, reply to my husband, I am coming or not coming, you know. <laughs> Another thing was also there because, you know, his parents, especially my mother-in-law, used to blame me for, blame me for everything, for his salvation. You know, they were Jacobites, just like Catholics. Uh, for their salvation, baptism, for everything. I was not that old at that time, you know to take all these things. So after two weeks, he wrote to my eldest brother. He was in the school and he said, on, one family uh, with me is coming, he was in the army, coming to Kerala. If Lily is joining me, uh, let her come with them, Tick, book the tickets. When he read, you know, he was very sad, you know, he thought, I, could not, I will not see my uh, kid sister, and if she will suffer, I cannot tolerate it. He was thinking like that, he was very much troubled, you know. And by 6.37, 6.45, he came home, and he told me, I got your husband's letter. Uh, if you are going to North India, tell me. Uh, whether I should book the ticket or not. And he was a little hard in it. He never talked to me like that. And all things, you know, I was so sad. And he told, tomorrow morning, you have to tell me that answer. I thought I was so sad, you know. He was a little, you know, <laughs> so scared I was. And I was sad also, troubled inside. What decision I will tell him. I cried and went to bed. I slept. Three o'clock, I looked at the time after that only, you know, <laughs> somebody tapped like me, me like this. I got up, looked around. Most of the time, if I cry, if I am uh, sorrowful, my brother will come, uh, wipe my tears, he will kiss me. You know, I thought it may be my eldest brother. I looked around, his door was closed. You know, so I you know, then I told Lord, if it's you, I will not pray. I cannot pray. If you have something to tell me, tell me from the word of God. Talk to me from the word of God. And then I got Jeremiah 45, 5. Can anybody show that? Are you seeking great things? I didn't uh, write the whole thing. Malayalam, I know. <laughs> Another thing, you know, I don't read English Bible. Uh, very rare I read Hindi Bible. Only Malayalam I read. <laughs> So, yeah. Are you seeking uh, great things for yourself? Seek them not. For behold, I will bring you evil upon all flesh, saith the Lord. But I will uh, give unto thee for a prey in all places, whither thou goest. Whither thou goest. It give me courage. Early morning I went and told, this is the Bible verse which I got. He was a saved man. He is a real Christian, living Christian. He told me, Mole, in Malayalam we call Mole, daughter, see, when John Bunyan was arrested, he told, Lord, my poor wife and my deaf child, yet I go. It gave me more strength, yet I go. My child, after five years I got it, and, but his future, my future, Lord, Lord, yet I go. And I joined Katra uh, uh, in Jammu Kashmir, a pilgrim center, Hindu pilgrim center. Katra 
Vaishnu Devi. You can go to the web page and see that. The role of a woman is, sorry, the role of a wife. The word of God says, Ephesians 5.22, Wives, be submissive to your own husbands. You know, but we wives want to make them submissive. <laughs> but the, it's a command. Be submissive to your own husbands. You know, husbands should be submissive to God and wives should be submissive to oh, the God-fearing man. Husband, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And... Uh, Example from the Bible, Hannah, the life of Hannah. You know, she was a crying woman. And, but we know when we, first Samuel, when we read it, we know that she respected her husband. She was a praying, worshiping woman. You know, and uh, may the Lord help all we women to be submissive, even though they are not Good enough to be submissive. Let us. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let us obey the word of God. Let us commit. Sometimes we may swift from our decision, but still again and again and again. Lord, help me to be submissive to my husband. I don't want to tell, I would like to tell a story, but no, not that much time. So <laughs> I am cut, cutting short the story. No. Uh, what's it? Hmm. Submissiveness, submissiveness means to serve with love. I know. My daughter taught me that. One day I was preparing a message for the uh, women, you know. Then I was writing. Then she asked, Mommy, what do you mean by submissiveness? <coughs> I said, even though we don't like, you know, just obey them. <laughs> then she said, no, Mommy. It's to serve with love. There was another story of Wigglesworth. I don't know whether you have heard or not. <laughs> heard. You have to tell here. You have to... Ask her permission. No, no. <laughs> you know, Wigglesworth, you know, he was a plumber. They were poor. His wife was, uh, uh, that family worshipped the Lord. They loved the Lord, you know. As they walked with God, God um, prospered them. And when the man became busy, you know, he didn't have much time to, um, for prayers and such things. Uh, one day when, she, when he came back from the work, the, this lady, she was very God-fearing, was not there. She cooked the food for him, the, made the bed, everything she did for him. And she went for the prayer meeting. And when he came, when, when he came back, she is not there. He was upset. Uh, most of the husbands want his wife be present in the home. If you can, do that. You know? <laughs> then uh, he, he got angry and said, she, she came, when she came, she, he said, where did you go? I want you to be here. Then she said, Wiggles, you are my husband. Jesus is my Lord. She didn't say anything, blah, 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 blah. We, if we, I thought when I read that story, you know, I thought if I were in, his, uh, in her place, what I would have been talked. It changed my. It changed my life. You know, we should change. We should ask Holy Spirit to change our life. You know, then uh, after three, two, three months also, the same thing happened. You know, so what he did, he locked the front door and locked the kitchen door. Uh, and when she came, knocked in the front door, she didn't open. Back door also, kitchen door also, she didn't open. Uh, he didn't open, sorry. <laughs> you know, he slept very well. For men, you know, after sleeping, uh, sleeping for a while, they are in good mood. You know. We women, we will not sleep 
and we will not let the person who is sleeping <laughs> with us also sleep. <laughs> you know, we will do something or something. <laughs> no. <laughs> morning he got up and he came to his sense and he went and searched for in England it is in England it was cold she came and knocked the front door he didn't open back door roller so she just laid down like this on the kitchen door front door he opened she is not there so he went and opened the kitchen door then she fell down she was frozen she fell down you know and then when she fell down, she came into conscious. And when she saw her husband, she asked, Honey, what do you like to have for hus uh, breakfast? Think what we will say. <laughs> Pastor Nancy, oh, oh, sorry, I forgot. I thought I didn't bring the water. She didn't, she didn't say anything. From that, I learned serve with love. You know, may the Lord help us to serve our children, save our community, society, save our nation, our children with love. We don't know when we will finish in this earth and our journey will be finishing. You know, yeah. Uh, let me tell you another experience. In 1972, within a few months of our pioneer ministry, a top-level leader prophesied over me, you will be a thorn to your husband. <laughs> he was a famous man. I don't want to mention his name. No. So I was very cautious and asked God, Make me a blessing. Lord, I never want to be a thorn to this man. And, uh, so, um, that prophecy helped me. It really helped me. Sisters, the people, the words which they speak against you can be a sandpaper for your life. <laughs> You know, so I never stood against his wishes and decisions, even though I didn't like some of his decisions. I didn't like some of his decisions. When my children were studying in the school in Punjab, in April, he asked, yeah, God asked me to move to Delhi. Oh, I cannot explain those things, you know. We will not get admission. It was very difficult, but I never stood against it. Inside I will pray, Lord, let it not be happen. <laughs> I have to be uh, truthful when I stand here, you know. <laughs> Hannah had a problem. She had no children. Penina, the second wife of her husband, used to provoke her severely. It continued year after year. You know, even when they went to the to went, went to worship the Lord in the temple. You know, do we have such nature? We will worship together. Hallelujah! Let your glory be on us, and then we'll back behind of others. You know, do we spread bad news? Do we provoke others? Do we irritate others? If so, ask God, Lord, give me the grace to be a woman, be, to be a woman like Hannah. Yes, somebody was, she was the uh, sister, um, Saraswati was telling, dying every day. No, somebody else was dying, telling me while talking, dying every five day, every day, crucifying ourselves every day. I also, I told you, I, I also didn't have children. Some people, for five years, people, my own close people, I don't want to mention, you know, they called me barren because of your work, you don't have children. 
but God had mercy on me. The doctors also told that I will not, I don't have the time to explain. I will not have, I cannot carry a baby more than three months. Many uh, negative things. My uterus is small. Doctor, gynecologist is here. <laughs> Dr. Sandhya, thank you for coming. Yeah. Uh, then um, I want to recognize some people, but I, uh, because the time is running, you know, when lunch time, we will be hungry. And also, <laughs> Uh, oh, sorry, uh, what did I say? Forgot. Uh, uh, barren. People used to, uh, because of your work, you didn't have children. You, you don't have children. The such things they used to. I was a crying woman. But God touched me. He touched my womb. He gave me five healthy, God-fearing children. Just like Hannah, three boys, and two girls. Praise. If anybody is hearing me, others are calling you, despising you, barren, this and that, God is able to do a miracle. He is a miracle working God. Yes. Hallelujah. If you are crying, cry before the Lord. He will see our tears. God appoints sometimes Peninas in our lives so that he can mold us into the person he wanted us to be. That means in his own image. Sometimes the sandpaper may be our husband. <laughs> sometimes our children, sometimes neighbors, sometimes who are working with us, sometimes mother-in-law, sometimes daughter-in-laws. Thank God, thank, thank God for that. Because your glow will increase. If you are submissive, if you obey the word of God. Hallelujah. Hannah didn't complain against Penina to Elkanah. She took it to the Lord in prayer. Uh, 1 Samuel 1, 10. She was deeply distressed and prayed to the Lord and wept bitterly. Deeply distressed and wept bitterly. Let me tell you, tell you another story from my experience. Uh, you know, we didn't have any family please earlier. Uh, even though uh, we are in Christ, I had the bundle, I had the old bundle with me inside, you know. Bags, some carries I bag, carried, the fear, you know, this thing. We were conducting a Bible school uh, of 15, 14, 15 people. There was, uh, there was scarcity of finance, so I was the cook. You know, a priest and uh, his wife joined us as they wanted to work in North India. My husband, most of the time he will be traveling. At, the, during, at that time, he went to Orissa for two months. Before he went, I got pregnant. You know, after two months, I started to, so two weeks, I started to omit. This priest lady started to tell everybody this, uh, when her husband is not there, she went after someone and uh, uh, I, I was so, because you know, I was, always careful about my character from the very childhood, you know. I don't want anybody to point their finger towards me. So I was so sad. I was the cook. I will cook for them. I will not eat. I will uh, lie on the floor and I will cry. You know, this lady won't even peel a onion even, you know. Uh, and she will not even wash her plates. I have seen how my mother respect priests from our church. So I didn't have any complaint. But I was so sad. When I came to, when then every day I put my, if the child's shape is something else, my husband will also doubt me. I have fear. <laughs> Devil brings fear into our hearts. I was so scared. You know, so I put my hands and pray, Lord, let it be a miscarriage. Let it be a miscarriage. Daily I will pray. You know, by the time these people run away, <laughs> <laughs> seven months, still I will not say my fear to my husband. Uh, but I was so scared to tell if this, the shape of the baby is somebody else's, what will I do? People will believe. I will not pray in public in church. I will not 
pray. I will not read the Bible uh, before any, anyone. I will sit inside and pray and read the Bible. I was so scared. At seven months, I was sitting in the toilet, you know, and I was just lifting my eyes, and I remembered our toilets on those days were daily removing. I don't know whether the youngsters cannot understand it. It's a mountain, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because 14, 15 people, you know, yeah. I was sitting there, and uh, I was praying, Lord, let this cup be gone, if you can. You know, uh, but let your will be. I remember the prayer of Jesus. Let your will be done. So I prayed, God, I cannot bear this cup. If it is your will, let it go. Let it be. Uh, something happened to this. I laid my hand and I prayed. At last, when I remembered this prayer, I added, Lord, if it is your will. I am ready to accept it. But you have to make this child in the shape of my eldest son. See? Prayer from our heart. God heals it. When I took my daughter to the school to admit, the principal told, oh, the difference between these two is a boy and a girl, that's the difference. Dear ones, are you troubled inside? Nobody will see your tears, but God who sees your tears, God who hears your tears will answer you. He has no difference, you know, partiality. If he hears me, he will, if you call him from your heart, he will hear it. Let our children see us praying and teach our children to pray. I was very much concerned about my children. When I know I am pregnant, sometimes, you know, ladies know, we get uh, without, without preparing pregnant, you know. So when I know that I am pregnant, I will lay my hand on my tummy and pray, Lord, let this child be a God-fearing God. That's the only prayer I prayed. You can see a book from my life, the prayers which I prayed my children, the promises he had given, the confessions of a mother, some books are there. In the temple also, also the priest, Eli misunderstood her as a drunkard and rebuked her with her sharp words. She knew Eli, uh, uh, Eli's children were not walking with the Lord. They lost their anointing too. Still, she did not hurt him or blame him. You know, she was such a woman of humility. Let us pray. Lord, make me humble. Make me humble. Whosoever despises me, make me humble just like you. Let it be our prayer. She saw the house of glory was in darkness, so she prayed for a male child so that she can give him back to God. Uh, to serve in the temple, to do a few insignificant jobs. You know. May the Lord Help us to know the need of this hour and pray according to like, according to that. God gave her the wisdom to pray according to the need of the hour. Hallelujah. Our, our prayers should give birth to spiritual sons and spiritual daughters. You know, and in verse 19, it says, so, sorry, First Samuel First chapter, verse 19, last, it says, the Lord remembered her. Praise the Lord. 
our Lord God is a remembering God. He is a seeing God. He is a hearing God. Hallelujah. He is a living God. Hallelujah. Another experience. What to say when I start, you know, experiences come. What, how can, where can I stop? I don't know. <laughs> Somebody may put a full stop. One day my son was in a church, you know, um, Anisha's husband. He was a five year small boy. He was sitting in the church. Uh, we sent them to an English church. We are pioneering a small church, that's why. So uh, somebody prayed a long prayer. And after that, he said, he, that man who prayed, he said, Lord, I don't know what to say. He was, my son was sitting in the front and he said, say amen. <laughs> So it's the same way say somebody should say amen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, let me tell you a story how God remembered me. I told you earlier I was the youngest of the family. My father died when I was young. So my eldest brother loved me very much on those days. Nobody... Uh, uh, celebrated birthdays by but my eldest brother was very particular my birthday should be celebrated and uh, so every year he will celebrate and pray for me could uh, some words of blessing Hindi <laughs> some words of blessings you know uh, I enjoyed that and I felt I am special I always had that feel, uh, feeling and when I came to North India he used to send me a letter uh, with some blessings and prayer. Uh, when my birthday comes, you know, I will be expecting for that. In 85, 1985, I was going through a kind of depression or, no, no, I don't know what to say that, no. My husband was in Orissa, problems, after problems were there. And uh, two days before, I didn't get the prayer of, uh, letter of my brother. Next day also, I didn't get. I thought, oh, he might have, tomorrow I will get. But on my birthday, you know, the day, I was so sad. Nobody remembers me. Nobody loves me. Dear ones, when you are down, devil will sit on your uh, shoulder and talk in your ears. Nobody loves you. Nobody cares for you. Nobody remembers you. But I know that uh, devil is a liar and the father of liar, I know. But still, I believe that. You know, I cried tears, drop by drop. You know, women, how we cry, you know. Drop by drop was coming, you know. By two o'clock, postman came. And uh, in his hand, there was a uh, big yellow registered cover. He asked, who is Lily Vargas? From 72 to 85, even though my brother sent a registered letter, it will be in my husband's uh, name. Uh, no, only inlands are for me. <laughs> so uh, I said, I am Lily Vargas. And I uh, took the registration and uh, letter and cut it and something is inside i didn't look for the thing i took the some thomas matthew from saudi arabia his address was there i took the paper there was a letter i took it and it is written sister lily Vergis, um, this is the first time i am writing you but your husband's uh, brother pg Vergis's book uh, elijah god of elijah uh, it helped me a lot, helped me to grow a little more clo closer to God. So I want to send him a gift. So I went to the mall and looked around. Three times I went to, uh, looked around for the thing which I want to send him, but I couldn't find it. Well, but I was, when I, while I was taking the round, there was a sari. Holy Spirit told me, buy it and send it to you. I know the Indian culture, um, the, a man who never saw or never had any contact with a woman, they will not send clothes for women. I know that. But as the Holy Spirit told me, I am sending this to you. And the next verse, you know, it's written, if your birthday is coming, wear this on that day. If it is over, keep, keep this sari for that day. I, I didn't have time to wear it. You know, I took it from the this one and... Put it just like her. <laughs> my brother, my husband, my children, all others can forget me. 
but my god my heavenly father my eternal father he will never ever forget me he will never ever forsake me hallelujah uh, somebody can put a, the bible verse judges 6:25 Oh. and it came to pass the same night dear ones night will come in our life that it will it came to pass you read in the bible you know it came to pass night comes to pass not to stay problems comes to not to stay it will pass hallelujah I, and it came to pass the same night the lord said unto him take thy father's young bullock even the second bullock of seven years dear friends children of god if god knows gideon's father his bullock's age seven years young or old and the number second number if he knows about a bullock won't he remember you Amen. he will remember you he knows each and everything about you hallelujah he knows how fat i am <laughs> no. how tall i am he knows i have experiences the measurement of my um, feet i have you know and another word you know the bible in the bible it is written he closed the lilies and i am one of the lily Hallelujah. My husband, I never asked for a sari or any cloth. This is also given by my, my heavenly father. Everything. Everything is given by. Even under skirt. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My father knows. Your father, he thinketh over you. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise you, Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. The prayer of Hannah changed her life also. Uh, first samuel on 18 and she was no longer sad she prayed and she was no longer sad after we pray we have to have faith in our father hallelujah she believed her prayer is answered look on 45 blessed is she who believed that the lord will fulfill his promises to her Amen. Whatever promises God has given to you, He will fulfill it. Amen. Say it a hundred times. Hallelujah. When difficulties come, problems arise, I say, God will fulfill it. God will fulfill it. Whatsoever. All your children will be taught by Jehovah and great shall be their peace. Amen. Hallelujah. The word which I have put in your mouth, the spirit which is upon you, will be upon your children and upon your children's children. Hallelujah. If your children are not walking with God, prophesy. Prophesy for children, for your children. Prophesy for your uh, family. Prophesy for your future. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. I, I told you, I, I, want, I, I would like to have orphanages because maybe my father was not there. That, that may be the reason. And my fa uh, father used to read Pandit Ramabai's books and such things, you know. So from the very childhood, I have that dreams, uh, schools. And uh, I have seen a doctor who will give medicine only after praying. So I want, uh, if God gives me a child ever, you know, I wanted him to be a medical doctor, you know. I, I had those desires inside. About only about four in the orphanage, I told orphanage and school because I was a trained teacher. I talked to my husband. Then he told, it's a business. It's not soul winning. He's always after souls, you know. Uh, but you know, God is a promise keeper. Hallelujah. Whatever dreams he do, he will give the desires of our heart. Good desires, not for our profit. Hallelujah. For his glory. Hallelujah. He will do it. God help me to see orphanage in our team. Hallelujah. He help me to see schools in our team. Hallelujah. For the poor children. Hallelujah. Preschools. Hallelujah. God help me. Hallelujah. To see a clinic in our school. God gave me a medical doctor as daughter-in-law. We didn't have to spend money. Hallelujah. <laughs> He sees. He sees us. 
He remembers us. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Next, uh, if I talk, you know, I'll go on. So uh, somebody should say amen. <laughs> I'll make you remember. And as a mother, I want to talk about mother of Moses. She was a just a woman, a housewife, a slave. Yet she made a history. Hallelujah. You think, oh, I am nothing. I am worm. I am dust. dust. From dust, he can do great things. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Um, Exodus 2, 1 to 4. Okay, you can put it or not. I, I may talk. A, a Levi man married a Levi woman. Man married a woman, especially mothers, young mothers, teach your children from nature and you know that man, not man, marrying man, it is not the system. Even nature also not showing that. You know, man marry women. You can show dogs, hen and you know, also show your children and talk to them. Otherwise, uh, Adam didn't marry Steve. <laughs> Adam married Eve. <laughs> so teach, teach our children from a very young age when they understand. It's very necessary nowadays. It's the need of this hour. You know. You know. Yeah. Uh, verse 2. She saw he was a special baby, living Bible. For all, yesterday I was telling to my daughter in law. For every mother, even though their child is black or, um, what do you say, brown or whatsoever, it's a special child. But this woman saw that he, he is a special child. Amen. And uh, she was a woman of vision. She was talking about vision. You know. Be a, a vision. If you don't have a vision, join with a person who has a vision. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. And uh, we must, uh, women must have a vision for ourselves, for our family, our church, our nation, the kingdom of God. We should have a vision. Increase. Ask God to give me a vision. Increase it. Increase it. Join with others. Let the kingdom of God extend. Hallelujah. Amen. And uh, I was, I told you that I was influenced by Pandita Ramabai, you know. I had a heart for, God gave me a vision for often suffering women and downtrodden. After my husband's conversion, he got a vision to reach the unreached. So, I aligned my vision with his. Hallelujah. Amen. When we are submissive to God, God will fulfill the desires, the vision of our heart. Hallelujah. So, I again, I encourage you to be um, submissive. Uh, I told you we went to Katra. Katra was a, a pilgrim center. People used to throw, Hindu pilgrim throw money. And we started to work among the scavengers children. I don't want to explain it, but nowadays it is not that good. You know, those children were illiterate. They will be begging around, you know, no um, shower or anything. You know, when the teacher inside me arose, you know, when I saw them, and I talked to my husband, and he told, "You call them, give them a wash, clean their clothes." That part, to be honest, I have to tell you the truth. I didn't like it. It was good. <laughs> it was good. I would have been a teacher. If it would have been, if she wouldn't have been saved, that will be good. I thought for a second. But, but God gave me the compassion for them. I called them and taught them. You know, now there is not even a single scavenger. Hallelujah. Now there are PhD students. When I see them worshipping the Lord in English, Hindi, my heart rejoices. You can make it. You can, at least you can change the life of one person. 
You cannot change the whole world. One person, one city, one village, something, whatever you can do, do it for the glory of God. Amen. Exodus 1, 16, the king asked the midwives to Hebrew women, kill the baby if it is male child. I believe all the Hebrew women would have cried unto the Lord. Lord, we need only your girl child. We need only girl child. You know, uh, because they don't want to see the death of their child. Every, for every mother, a baby is very precious. And Exodus 122, the king changed his strategy. He commanded every boy born to Hebrews, you shall throw into the Nile. I believe this command came when she was pregnant, when she was carrying, you know. But she never, uh, let me see. She did not make her husband get panicked or she did not tell, let us all jump into the Nail River and die. She didn't say, if we were in, the, in her position, what we will be talking? You know, we should, I think. She encouraged her husband. When he was down, he, she will say, God will, will make a way where there is no way. He, he, he is, what did you say? God is something you were uh, saying. Oh, oh sorry, forgot. Uh, he will do. He will do. He will sustain with his uh, righteous right hand. And, uh, hallelujah. I know, she would have told, see, she, God will uphold our child. He will keep us. God will keep our child alive. You know, she would have talked to her husband and she would have encouraged. When our husbands are discouraged, when our children are discouraged, encourage them. Encourage them. You know. I think some people are, I feel in my spirit, some are hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she was a woman of faith. She, uh, in Hebrews 11, 23, it is written, she feared the Lord, so she didn't fear the commandment of uh, king. If we fear the Lord, the fear of the Lord is in us. We will not fear any other thing. You know, she did not fear the king or the um, army or nothing, you know. She was a woman of faith. Now, our points are coinciding, I think. She was a woman of faith. Be a woman of faith. To be a woman of faith, you have to read the word of God. You have to hear the word of God. Our God speaks, you know. So sh you should hear the word of God. And uh, it's, it's written, a person of faith won't act hastily. Isaiah 28, 16c part. You know, she did, they didn't act hastily because they had faith in their God. Our God will work. Our God will take care of our problem. Hallelujah. Everything works for you. I, do, I say that verse. After some, after some experience, not at once I became like that. Don't think like that, you know. <laughs> some problems I went through, then I started to say, everything works for good. For those who love him. Hallelujah. So uh, she was a woman of faith. Exodus 2, 3. When she could not hide him any longer, that means she, oh, time is running. <laughs> that means she trusted fully in God to save the baby. So she planned and acted according to her faith. She got a papyrus basket, made it waterproof with tar and pitch. She hoped against hope. There was no hope. Hindi bohut ki achha lagta hai. Nirasha mein bhi aasha re kar ke vishwas kiya. Nirasha aa jaye gaya. Lekin uska beech mein hi aansu poch kar ke wiping the tears, hoping in God. Tears will come. You know, yeah. She, uh, she placed the box among the reeds on the bank of the river. She understood the time and found the place to put the box. Understand the time, in which time we are living. Hallelujah. She was a good planner. Sisters, be a planners. Eh? Yeah. Our plan is making no plan. 
that's our plan you know <laughs> but we plan it she was very careful that water should not enter into the box we must be careful water should not enter into our our children's box that means worldliness you know praise the lord hallelujah and you know, uh video games wild parties pornography we know we heard a lot about this you've been worshiping people what i mean you know the stories you know but be careful pray lord keep our children keep me from drowning with water keep our church people keep the children of god not only us not only our children the kingdom of god the church of god will remain strong we should pray for that you know and uh, she got the verse for um, his sister stood afar off to know what would be done to him she got the participation and involvement of her daughter of course other family members too in planning we should do that time going so i have to uh, run you know so this girl you know found the forest daughter and she went and talked to her she didn't say blah 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 about that this and that and she talked wisely very wisely mothers impart our vision impart our faith impart our prayer prayerful life our impart our um uh, what's it oh my god what's it sorry i forgot it goes it goes out of my mind sometimes uh wisdom yeah wisdom impart our wisdom to our children amen uh hebrews 11:24 to 29 you uh, you can go home and read uh, 24 you you may present it here. no t- hebrews 11:24 to 29 we don't have the time uh, the clock says only 10 minutes i am a soldier's wife <laughs> so i have to <laughs> yes by faith Moses when he was come to years refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. Ni uh, uh niche if you look down by faith Moses by faith Moses by faith Moses his mother imparted her faith into him when she can mothers pray like some in in psalms it is written you know 90 it is written i forgot the verse uh, lord help us to count our days count our days with our children with our husband with our co sisters or whosoever it may be with our um, sisters or church people church members learn to count ask the lord give us the wisdom to live as today is the last day you know give us the wisdom yeah and uh, so important faith faith God enabled this woman to bring up all three children as leaders to deliver Israel Miriam Aaron and Moses you can do that married women you can do that grandmothers you can pray for your grandchildren and he will do that and challenges as a leader's wife hallelujah ho oh, ho that's horrible you know my secretary was great challenge as we worked among the non christians and the unreached people my life was under threat many times let me tell another story what to say what to do 50 years experience no i am just to say yeah yeah i know thank you <laughs> i know we were in punjab then one day let me cut short it one day some sardar ji uh, came to our home and my our office then this is the kitchen then store uh, there's a kitchen store then our bedroom then two rooms for the it was the training school bible training school and there was a small 
room where we used to give the literature. Five people came, my husband called me. Lily, bring six cup of tea. Okay, I took six cup of tea and when I went there, these men were... <laughs> when we see the eyes of men, we can understand. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Then he called me after the uh, after that five minutes, ten minutes. He called me. Take the cup. I asked another Bible school school student to go and take it. And uh, he he bought it. Next day also they came. Then I made the. He told bring me uh, uh, six cup of tea. Okay, made and called the man, uh, Pastor E J Joni. He is still with us. You know. he was a Bible school student at that time from Kerala. And I asked him to take it uh, to the office. I Women, be wise. Be wise. God is the one who gives us wisdom. They are for, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. <coughs> then my husband, you know, he's a very, very sincere man. He told them, don't come tomorrow. Tomorrow I will not be here. I will come only after 12.30. Uh, no. It was... October, time, uh, winter time, these Sardarjis came by 8.30. In a, five people came in a tractor and they started the tractor so that the sound will not go anywhere. And they knocked at the gate. Two, one Sardarji sat on the, sorry, I should not say Sardarji. <laughs> one man sat on the tractor and other two on the gate and other two came inside. I was uh, uh, with the children in the room, in one room. You know, they were sleeping on the floor. I was with them. Then two men came. One stood in the Bible school, uh, students near, then asked, uh, asked this Johnny, you know, where is Andy? Tell us gospel. He said, me, no, hi Hindi, no, Hindi, Malayala. And he uh, showed where I am. And this man came and knocked. One man was standing there. Uh, then he came and knocked, knocked and said, I want to hear good news. I said, so I, I have no idea how to say good news. That's the job of my husband. I have cooking, washing, taking care of my children. That's the, all the job I know. I have no idea about it. Then he told, he was, they were very cunning. Asked the um, Pastor Johnny to sit there. Don't move from there. And asked me to give, if you don't know how to say the, uh, he, uh, he tried to come inside. I said, don't come inside, children are coming. Then I got out. Uh, they said, give me some literature so that they want to trap me in that small room. While I was going like that, you know, I heard a sound. Run and escape. I don't know where to run, you know. Anyway, I was just got, I don't know, still I, my feet were shivering. Still, I don't know how I got into the room. I locked the room and started. When we are scared, you know, we speak in tongues. Otherwise, <laughs> you know, that's the time we pray more. I started to pray, you know. And after some time, after five minutes, I think, I opened the window. You know, that man was standing like this. He was running after him. God put a nut and bolt on his feet. Dear ones, hearing this story, at 11, 12, 30, 1 o'clock, my husband came. He knocked at the gate. Everybody he was scared, you know, we didn't open. And uh, he was so irritated and he said, open the door. And uh, so uh, I went and opened and there was fear in my face. And he, what happened? I said, uh, I gave him some food and then I told the story. And then he said, let us go, let us pack and go. I said, no, God called us to be in North India. If we go to Mo uh, South India, will it not happen? It can happen anywhere. God is our protector. So we will not go back. Uh, challenges may come in our life. Hallelujah. And uh, some, uh, uh, my husband was an absent husband and uh, father. Our eldest son was afraid that his dad will not come back from ministry field alive. He will weep. He used to weep all through the nights sometimes. You know. There was financial challenges, scarcity of uh, finance in the mission. And uh, in 
in our family also we never took money from the mission you know we just lived by faith uh, there was a time uh, we didn't pay fees for six months we didn't have the money to pay fees you know in some other schools they will tell us uh, my children to stand out but this this school was very kind to us you know we i went and told whenever we get the money we, we are not cheaters whenever we will get the money we will give you we told them you know and one day a, a leader one of our leaders wife was also carrying i bought it in our home for the delivery and so we didn't have enough food also i don't want them to know about our shortages so i didn't i will go myself and sit and pray the third day i got a letter with 70 750 rupees check it said you know uh, you get uh, use it anywhere you want if it is for personal or uh, uh, ministry wise you can use it and i thought you know the devil will sometimes murmur in our ears oh it is written personal so i took it kept it temptation will come daily temptations will come even though we may worship we may read the word of god we may pray for a long time and in tongues but temptation can come every day it will knock at our door and prayed for three days and holy spirit asked me to give it back you know and i was sad you know i don't want this lady to know that we don't have anything you know after three days i got a letter in my name Lily Burgess, you know, it's written, this money, 4,500 rupees, think, you know, this money is sent for only for your kids' expenses and your household. Yeah. Our God knows. He sees. <laughs> Hallelujah. He is not a blind savior. He sees us. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Whatsoever we do for him, he knows. Hallelujah. And uh, oh, on, on o'clock. <laughs> okay, I can finish, I think. No. And my brother, eldest brother, when I came for, no, came to North India, he told me, he discouraged me, you know. He told, uh, child, if you go, you got a child after five years. And your children, if you have more children, they will not have good education. They will not wear good clothes. They will be talking the local language. Then we will be very sad if they will come uh, to Kerala and when our children will speak in English, if they don't know English, we will be very sad. If you forsake anything for God's sake, he is a faith, hundredfold, hundredfold, hallelujah. My children, come, all my children, God gave good education. They can, it's not out of proud, it's because of God's humility. My children can speak good English. Three of them have good doctorate, praise the Lord. And yeah. All are, the best thing I am proud of them is they are walking with the Lord. And God gave me the best daughter-in-laws in the world. And the best grandchildren. I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful. I have no regret. God is a promise keeper. He is faithful in his promises. Let me cut short another, so another story. Uh, my husband used to travel a lot. I was sitting at home, my second son, he's also a preacher, Blessen, I don't know whether you know him or not, um, Blessen Vergis. Uh, he told, Mom, you are alone at home, you know. I, wa I want you to go and attend a uh, conference in South Africa so that you can get refreshed. And he bo booked the ticket and went to, he told her, don't worry, you uh, come to Dubai, my friends, eight, nine brothers will be, uh, uh, friends will be coming to uh, Dubai, you can join them and go to South Africa. Uh, they will be just like me, your sons, you know. So we arrived, then uh, we arrived in South Africa, let me cut short the story. And <laughs> then a great team, big welcome team came and uh, they took an interview and uh, they asked us uh, to go get into the buses. And while we were going, they told, uh, you don't have to carry your um, 
baggages just to take the handbag you know and we went there uh, while we were we have to climb the steps uh, to go to the uh, hotel while we were climbing they told there will be another video welcome group so you should smile wave your hands okay and we were <laughs> waving and smiling and going you know and then <laughs> this welcome amongst the from this welcome group you know two people came out with a uh, what do you say gun and they shot on the floor and they were dancing uh, my husband used to say that some african countries do that you know oh i thought I, let me see it i was the only one woman <laughs> eight men you know i was the fourth person let me see how they dance you know then they were screaming and shouting they first of what they said lie down everyone they were robbers you know so everybody lie down the first one we didn't the first we didn't understand what they shouted you know so they uh, put the gown and hit on his head the first man it was bleeding then we were all scared and and they came and took all the things from each and of us and when he came to me you know uh, he told me give me your watch i showed my watch thank god there was no watch you know he was so angry he put the gun on on my head and i will kill you ma then then he saw someone else with the extra gold and something you know he went over there and <laughs> they did and came back another then he said again i will kill you then he turned to my next man he was a businessman a thick chain was on his uh, neck and a big Uh, his wedding ring was very thick you know and uh, he asked and he gave but he could not open or remove the wedding ring because years after he put it you know then this man gave, this robbers gave a slap thank god god is a miracle working god i say that uh, <laughs> the ring came out <laughs> he got the slap on his neck but the ring <laughs> came out we all got saved you know none of us was killed you know everybody was robbed not even a hair from my hair fell down hallelujah just like he promised wherever you go your life will be a price hallelujah uh, in malayalam we say kollakarinte kayil ninnu kolla pole rakshapettu dakkuvum ka beech se sone ka jaise me bahar aagi praise the lord hallelujah god has promised he will fulfill his promise hallelujah and uh, i will narrate another story and i will stop <laughs> there was a time when i was i was pregnant the second ch- with child you know i wished to go to a house and uh, have a good meal and the rest sometimes i wished you know women know how we were meant and uh, we don't like the smell of the stew and such things we know but i have to cook i am the wife you know <laughs> i told you you know 10 in one sometimes we are the cooker we are the washing machine we are the children machine you know <laughs> <laughs> so i thought if I, somebody would have given me a glass of clean water now i wished for second delivery we didn't have food for the fourth day also i i know what is starving i know what is hunger i can understand that and but i was lonely and tired as i was in kashmir no house to go no relatives to visit you know but now you know from today i have hundreds of houses from kashmir to kanyakumari amen. amen even in bangalore come and stay with us yes i know that's why when i left my home god gave me a promise for my name's sake for gospel sake if you leave your home your brothers and sisters now you know the rest a hundred fold i will give I mean I can say all around the world God has given me fathers mothers brothers sisters who loves me as 
their own. God is a promise keeper. He will never fail. He will never leave you. I mean, times may come, we may get depressed, but he will, he is, he will be faithful to us. I had difficulty to wear too many hats in late 70s when we were in Patan Kut, Punjab. Wife of a pastor, mission leader, Bible school, uh, mission leader and Bible school principal's wife, mother of five small children, cook for the Bible school students, host for too many guests and financial scarcity. Once I was tired of cooking, serving guests, I thought, did I make a wrong decision? Sometimes me may think, I shouldn't have left that job. I thought like, my husband never thought, I asked him many times, uh, but I thought, let me be frank, you know. Did God really call me for this ministry? Then, at that night I was worried, I was distressed that night while I was reading the word of God, Acts 6, Two to four, especially I will read the Bible verse three. You can show it in the uh, board if you want. Uh, <coughs> six, two to four. <coughs> Therefore, select out from among yourselves, brethren, seven men of God and attest character and repute, full of Holy Spirit and wisdom, whom we may assign to serve on the table. I know. I prayed, Lord, I am ready to do the same work till my last breath. But one thing I need, wisdom. I must be a person of full of Holy Spirit, of good reputation. Help me to leave a good legacy for my children, for the kingdom of God. That is the only prayer I have. Let us close our eyes. I know the Holy Spirit was dealing with each one of us. Surrender to him. Are you a submissive wife? Are you a good helpmate? Do you discourage your husband, children, family members? If so, ask God, Lord, change me. Change me. Change my heart, O oh Lord. Change my heart. Change my attitudes. Father, just like Hannah, even though I am bitter in soul, let me pour out my soul in your presence, not on anybody else, O oh Father. Help me, give me the grace. Give me the grace. Make me a praying and worshiping submissive wife or father. I surrender. Father God, just like Moses' mom, make me a woman of faith. Help me to fear the Lord. Let my children walk in the fear of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Help me to hope against hope. Dear ones, he remembers you. I know some people think nobody cares for me. No, he cares for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He loves you. He remembers you. Mm. I will, uh, let us pray, Lord, help me to count my days. Give me the wisdom to count my days. How many days I will be with my husband, with my children. Whatever you know, impart it into your children. Impart into your uh, co-workers, other church members, whatsoever it may be. Let his glory be seen in us. Let us glow in his glory. Hallelujah. He wanted us to be in his own image. 
as lord i surrender my life to be just like you just like you that's the only own desire i have me my children my generation should walk with you lord hallelujah those who want to surrender their life as a submissive wife as a god fearing mother grandmother as a faith woman put your hand on your chest and pray the prayer which you want to pray tell god he heals you he sees you he cares for you hallelujah thank you lord thank you jesus thank you lord thank you abba father thank you for your presence thank you lord speaking to our hearts of father thank you jesus those who are taking the decisions bless them lord i pray for the sick people if anybody is barren in jesus name be be a mother we confess them as mother we call them as mother by faith we call them as mother in jesus name thank you lord thank you jesus for your presence thank you lord for your love for us oh father you are a faithful promise keeping god thank you thank you thank you father i bless all this congregation gracious bless them lord i call them blessed mothers let them leave a legacy for the generations of father especially this the year let them glow let them glow in the city of bangalore not only in the city of bangalore we speak for the nation our nation amen thank you jesus thank you lord for hearing our prayers we love you we honor you in jesus name we pray amen amen